Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sodium mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18 which came out quite recently and the Sodium mod is a performance based mod which is intended to give us good FPS performance boosts in our game. For those of you who have used Optifine, we will know that Optifine used to give us nice performance enhancements in our Minecraft Java Edition game and Sodium basically does the same thing, it is a newer mod and it's worth checking out especially if you guys are using the fabric based ecosystem as you guys can see in the top left corner of my screen there I am using Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18 if we go into the F3 console there you can see that I am on the Minecraft 1.18 vanilla game so you can see it says on the top left there Minecraft 1.18 and it's a vanilla game I have actually reset all of my options as well I've gone ahead into my Minecraft directory and deleted the options.txt file so I am actually on the default settings as you guys can see this is the default settings there and if we go into my video settings these are what the game sets as the default settings for me for my video settings so we're going to have a look at the sodium mod today and we're going to see what kind of performance increases we can get and what kind of fps increases we can get on our system so i'm going to show you guys how to download the sodium mod for minecraft java edition version 1.18 and then also how to install the sodium performance mod for minecraft java edition version 1.18 so first of all i am going to have a look at my fps in the normal vanilla game and see what kind of fps i can get in my normal vanilla based game as my default so let me just go into first person mode here and let me just stare straight so as you guys can see at the moment i am getting 550 fps on average so if you have a look at the top right corner of my screen there i do have fraps running and i would recommend that you guys actually use fraps as opposed to the f3 menu to check out your fps if i was to press f3 on my keyboard you guys can see that it is showing a lower amount of fps this is why I would recommend that you guys use Fraps because this is the true representation of what your in-game FPS is actually at the moment. So if you guys are wanting to check out your FPS, definitely do check out Fraps. Okay, so as you guys can see, I am getting 550 FPS and this is on my vanilla based Minecraft game on version 1.18. And now we're going to do a comparison. I'm going to go ahead and download Sodium Mod for Minecraft Java Edition 1.18 and then I'm going to install Sodium Mod for Minecraft craft java 1.18 and we're going to have a quick look and see what kind of fps gains i can get with the sodium performance mod for version 1.18 all right, so I'm going to assume that you guys already have Fabric installed. I have made a video about how to install mods for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18, and I've covered both Fabric and Forge in that video. So I will leave a link in the description so you guys can watch that and see how to set everything up with Fabric or Forge. But for today, we are going to use a Sodium, which is a Fabric based mod. But let's go ahead and download Sodium for our Minecraft game, and then we can install the Sodium mod for version 1.18. Okay, so in your internet browser, just go to curseforge.com. This is a nice mods website for Minecraft. Click on the Minecraft icon over here and then click on mods like so in the sub menu and then in the search bar all we need to do is just search for sodium and we need to click on the link which is this one it says sodium by a jelly squid now for those of you who don't know jelly squid has actually made sodium and other performance based mods like lithium phosphor and hydrogen i will do a video later on to cover those mods once they do come out for version 1.18 but for now click on this link here that says sodium by jelly squid all right so once you come to the main sodium website you can read up about this it does give you some nice information about what the sodium mod is all about and what kind of performance we can expect with the sodium based mod but for now let's click on files and let's go ahead and actually download the latest version of sodium for version 1.18 and to actually get the latest file all we need to do now is click on view all as you guys can see i'm doing right now and then we need to download this version which is sodium for minecraft version 1.18 and this is the latest release of sodium which is 0.4.0 previously we were on the earlier version which is 0.3.3 for fabric for the older version of minecraft version 1.17.1 as you guys can see over here so this is the latest 
release. It does say alpha, so this is actually in alpha stage, so you can expect a few bugs here and there, but it is actually good to test out on your system and see what kind of performance boosts we can get. And from time to time, do make sure that you come to this website and you do check out the Sodium directory here and have a look at all of the updates that the Sodium mod has to offer. So I'm going to actually click into this Sodium Minecraft 1.18 link and now I'm going to click on download. It does actually take five seconds to start the download so just wait for that for five seconds. All right so the download has finished and I have saved the file to my desktop so I can now close down this window and as you guys can see I do have the Sodium for Minecraft 1.18 version 0.4.0 jar file like so now let's go back into our minecraft launcher click on installations hover over any of these links and then click on the folder icon like so if you guys already do have fabric installed you should have a mods folder if for any reason you don't have this folder just right click on an empty space click on new click on folder and then rename that folder to mods let's go inside this folder and now we just need to drag that jar file the sodium mod jar file into the mods folder so i'm going to drag this sodium mods jar file into the mods directory like so so as you guys can see this is the minecraft directory which has the mods folder and inside that mods folder i've placed the sodium for fabric for version 1.18 file i can now close this down and i can go back into my launcher and this time i'm going to launch fabric which is the fabric loader for version 1.18 so i'm going to click on play like so and it's going to hopefully launch the game and it's going to launch the game with the sodium mod installed and we can have a look at what kind of fps i can get inside my game so let's wait for the game to now load up all right so as you guys can see the game has now loaded let's maximize this window and if i go into my options and i click on video settings you can see the video settings page now looks a bit different so we can see that sodium is definitely installed so you guys can see i've got a general tab here i've got quality performance and advanced now because i am on the default settings i haven't actually touched any of these settings so these are going to be the default settings what the game sets for me when i install sodium on my system so let's click on done let's go back into our single player game here and let's have a look at what kind of fps we can now get with sodium installed all right, so let me go ahead and enable my fraps. And as you guys can see, I'm now getting close to 1,350 FPS on the top right corner there of my screen. And that is a substantial increase from the previous FPS, which I was getting, as you guys can see. It's now actually touching 1,000. 400 fps if i was to go into full screen mode i would probably get even higher and with a few more tweaks i would probably get even more higher fps so let's quickly go ahead and tweak these settings around let's change the render distance to six simulation to five let's leave the brightness as it is let's disable the auto save indicator let's go to graphics change everything to the fast settings like so let's reduce some of these other settings as well just going to quickly disable all of these other settings in the performance section i'm not actually going to touch anything i'm going to leave all of these things as they are and same for the advanced section as well let's click on apply and there are a few other things which i need to change as well so i'm going to change the fov to 60 and now i'm actually going to press f11 on my keyboard and make the game go into full screen mode so let's do that now all right so as you guys can see i am now touching more than 2000 fps which is quite crazy for minecraft if you ask me but that is what sodium is able to offer me on my system so if you guys are on a lower end machine on a lower end pc or laptop and you're not getting as much fps that you should be getting and you want to try and get even more fps i would highly recommend that you guys try out and install the sodium mod especially if you guys are on minecraft java edition version 1.18 and hopefully that should give you some nice fps in your game if you guys do have any queries or any questions about how to download and how to install sodium mod on minecraft java edition version 1.18 do leave them in the comment section below if you have any issues and sodium mod is not working for you for any reason do let me know in the comment section below i'll do my best to try and help you guys out and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching